Dude, you want to go lift? Bro, feeling better? Much better. All right. Let's freaking go. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So as you can tell by the title of this video, we are tackling nothing but protein bars for the next 24 hours. And for those of you that had seen my most recent protein cookies for 24 hours, I hope you found that somewhat informative or at least entertaining. But I'd like to let you know a quick update. I've now officially coined my car the King of mobile Dutch ovens. Bro, I don't know if that's something you should be proud of. Let's be real guys, I think we all know how today's gonna go, but for the purposes of this video, we're gonna tackle the infamous protein bar for the next 24 hours, and we're not just gonna be pulling protein bars from left or right field. Instead, we're gonna tackle these in alphabetical order, and along with combination of protein bars that you guys have said are some of your absolute favorites. So I know this intro is getting super long-winded, so if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button, and if you're stoked on seeing how far we're gonna get into the alphabet, give this video a big fat thumbs up. But otherwise, let's start grubbing. To kick this day off, we've got Aladdin. I mean, Alani New. Then next up, we've got the Built Bar, the famous Built Bar, which a lot of you guys have said is one of your absolute favorites. And then we've got the Paleo Caveman Dark Chocolate. So for the most part, protein bars come in a variety of sizes and shapes, and they're great for when you're on the go. But at the same component, I think perception is, is that they're hardly packed with any carbs and have a decent amount of protein, which I think for the most case that is true. But you still gotta be careful guys, cause protein bars can definitely still be a major calorie suck. So whenever I'm reaching for a protein bar, I'm one, looking at the very first ingredient on that label, because that's primarily what that protein bar is gonna be consisting of. Second, I'm looking to see what type of sugar alcohol is being used and also the amount. And sure enough, sugar alcohols give protein bars a reduced amount of net carbs, but at the same component, because it's not being absorbed by the body, you're gonna feel a couple of things. First off, you might get super bloated. Two, you might build up enough gas to go straight to the moon. Three, you just might enjoy yourself a nice Havana omelet. So with that being said, guys, let's dig into this because I am very intrigued by this sucker right here. Great packaging, by the way. That is looking like a candy bar. All right, cheers. That is like a rock. Outside, we've got, I'm assuming, a protein shell glaze over some corn cereal in the middle, but not too bad. All right, next up, we've got the good old Built Bar. I'm super excited about this. So we've got the coconut and almond. I'm expecting almost like an Almond Joy, but zero guilt. We'll see about that. Ooh, look at that sucker. Robin your hood. <laughs> it's a solid handle. And also Black Billy both have said that Built Bars are their favorites. So let's dig in. Oh, wow. This is pretty solid. So in the middle, we've got the mixture of coconut along with the protein and then dark chocolate on top. Taste wise, I'd say pretty solid. I'd say about an 8.3, but the texture, I think, is what really draws me to this one. This one is just nice and squishy. Like, it's got a good amount of bite to it, just not too stiff, so it's not gonna break your jaw. But flavor-wise, I'm digging this one for sure. And can't go wrong with coconut almond. It's always island time, guys. Built Bar. And next up, something you can find over at Whole Foods or even Sprouts. We've got the Paleo Caveman Protein Bar. This one I'm assuming is automatically gonna be filled with just a bunch of nuts. Yep, sure enough. Ingredients, nut and seed blend. Pretty resemblant of a kind bar, but we've got some chocolate drizzle on top, a mix or blend of nut seeds, and some chocolate on the bottom. Six grams of total protein. Well, not too bad of a start to the day. So we knocked out three letters. We've got many more to come, but I'm running a little late to the gym. We're gonna get a special workout in. So we're gonna wash up, 
and I'll see you guys in a second. Since we're having a field day with butt stuff, might as well celebrate it even some more with a dedicated glute workout. Now, my good friend, Taylor Baker, who is a jacked factory athlete, has sent me over this epic glute workout. Now, guys, I've never had a dedicated glute workout before, so today should be quite entertaining. With that being said, she is in the middle of prep for a physique show, so give her a shout, Instagram or YouTube. Either way, show her some love. I know a little would go a long ways. But with that being said, here's a quick message from her and the glute workout. I'm gonna go inside and mentally prepare myself for the epicness that's about to ensue. Hey Jason, how's it going? I hope you're doing well and I hope your legs are ready to go for today's workout. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Taylor and today I'm going to be taking Jason through a lower body workout and it's actually a glute focused lower body workout. So Jason, I hope your legs are all warmed up and ready to go and I really hope that you enjoy this. If you guys try out this workout, make sure you tag me and let me know or you let Jason know and give us some feedback. Otherwise, I really hope you enjoy and I can't wait to see what you think about it. We're going to start this workout with the back squats, focusing on having constant tension on the posterior. Let's grow this peach! You guys know that uh, lying down hamstring curls are one of my absolute favorites, so we're going to do that with the dumbbell. So far, my ass is burning. Is it bigger? That pump was unreal, guys. That glute workout was a solid 10 out of 10. Holy smokes, my ass is on fire. But we've got our next protein bar, plant-based, supposedly dang good. Let's check it out. Not bad, looks pretty wholesome. What the, f this is a negative. I'd say that's like maybe a four out of 10. Hmm, no. No. That caps off the letter D. Now, when it comes to fiber, throughout the day, I'm shooting for 20 to 25 grams. Daily recommended, 35 grams. For me, 20 to 25 grams keeps me even keel and keeps me regular. And so when it comes to protein bars, seriously trying to shoot for anywhere from three to five grams. It's definitely on the lower end. I just don't wanna put my stomach through the ridiculous amount of bloat and potential liquid warfare, if you know what I mean. But for the most part, Quest Nutrition has been great in terms of overall flavor, but for me, it's not my first pick when it comes to just an overall protein bar. It's got way too much fiber and excess sugar alcohols, and for me, it's just not a good uh, combination. But one protein bar, otherwise known as, oh yeah, awesome protein bar over the years, and I love their flavor fiber also is usually at three to five grams so it's perfect for me but next up we've got eat me yes ma'am so instead of a protein bar we've got a brownie and this is a galaxy protein brownie let's see what this thing is packing yeah there's gonna be some cleaning up in this car check out the sprinkles though look how epic that is holy unicorns oh my goodness this is delicious Nine out of 10 on flavor. This thing is gorgeous. Eat me, Galaxy Brownie. One-way ticket, 
to a food gasm, 100%. Fit Crunch, PB and J. I know we all love the good combo. So, uh, P. Suki and Hayden, let's dive in and see what this is all about. Take a look at that drizzle on top. That is epic. All right, cheers. Great combo of peanut butter and jelly. Texture is a little chewy with a little bit of crunch. Flavor overall, I'm gonna give this an 8.3 out of 10. Last one, at least for now, is the Grenade Carb Killa White Chocolate Salted Peanut. I'm noticing a trend here. There's a lot that just have crunchy tops speckled all across or peanuts across. I might also just be picking a lot that have peanuts in them. But uh, cheers. Eh. Yeah, we're gonna give this uh, maybe seven out of 10. Wow, definitely making way more headway than I thought we were. So I think we're sitting at, next up, H. I'll see you guys at home. Dun, dun, dun. H, we're gonna give that to Nicole for homemade protein bars. And honestly, I'm in the same boat. I would definitely prefer 100% to make my own homemade protein bars. You're just in so much more in control and the types of ingredients and the macros and just overall flavor. So with that, I've got my own homemade protein bar right here. And actually this is two servings. This is one thick mofo and gotta love some sprinkles. Hell yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and put the recipe in the description box below. Super easy to make and only needs just a few ingredients. PB powder, some whey protein, some honey, and some sugar-free maple syrup. Now, here's the thing, guys. So when you're using IMO syrups, most often than not, you're gonna heat them up in the microwave. And the, the tricky thing about them, and I've made a few from Greg Doucette's Anabolic Cookbook 2.0, is that IMO syrups can be a little fickle. They vary from brand to brand, and so it can be a little difficult to stay consistent with the protein bars. And if you tried the holiday chocolate protein bar, for me, it, it was super floppy, and more than likely it's because of the IMO syrup that I was using. Vita Fiber just is a little difficult to get and you're gonna be on a little bit of a waiting period. But with that, if you heat honey to 300 degrees, first off, get yourself a candy thermometer. You'll see right here, you've got a bunch of different measurements for the temperature and then also the firmness of the liquid that you're using, and in this case, when you heat up honey to 300 degrees, you're basically really evaporating a lot of the water moisture in there and then basically left with the sugars. And that's what's really gonna give you a firmer and just a thicker texture. So that combined while mixing into just normal sugar-free maple syrup and then combining that into all of your dry ingredients, you're gonna get a firmer protein bar. So this protein bar right here is about 175 grams. So just kind of give you a point of perspective, that's about one ounce, maybe a little over an ounce, more than what you typically see with your store-bought protein bars. So in terms of macros, this is actually gonna be a little bit higher if you consume the whole thing. I personally will cut this in half and then I've got the individual serving. I'll go ahead and put the macros up on the screen now, but it's pretty solid and you just have a lot more wholesome ingredients that you're working with. And so when it comes to the honey and maple syrup mixtures, right now in the recipe below, I've got I think 150 grams of sugar-free maple syrup to 50 or 60 grams of honey. If you want a more firmer textured protein bar, you can go ahead and do a one-to-one -one ratio of the honey to the sugar-free maple syrup and then heat up the honey to 300 degrees. You'll be good to go. There you go. Got some great texture, definitely very chewy, ton of flavor, and obviously, gotta live it up, guys. Throw some sprinkles on there. Enjoy. Starting to hit a wall, guys. I and J, we're gonna take the losses. Move on to K. Kirkland Protein Bar. A lot of you guys have actually said that this is one of your absolute favorites. I use this whenever I'm in a pinch, and chocolate peanut butter is tends to be one of my favorites, but again, there's I think 15 grams of fiber in here. Yeah, so this is definitely on the higher end. It's probably gonna cap me off or put me over the edge. Dutch ovens, here we come. This is gonna be a great test, guys. This versus my homemade protein bar. You're gonna have to try it and let me know. Here's what we're working with, Kirkland protein bar. There's like little bits of peanut butter. So I'm gonna give this a solid 8.7 out of 10. Just a couple more bites. You can do it. No. 
I think we're gonna give these protein bars or my stomach a break. I'm starting to get really tired of the artificial flavors. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go sit down. <laughs> Guys, we just wrapped up K onto L. Let's see what we're working with. And I'll tell you what guys, I am not feeling the hottest. You know, it's one thing when you can rip it, but it's a whole nother when you can't stand your own smell. So I feel like I want to quarantine myself from myself. I don't even know if that makes any sense right now. That there's probably too much sugar alcohols in my head. But um, L, we've got Laura Bar. Chocolate peanut butter cup. And this one comes highly recommended from Not Dead Yet. And if you haven't checked out his YouTube channel, Go ahead and check them out. But Laura Bar chocolate peanut butter cup. At this point, I feel like everything just tastes overly saturated in fake sugar and artificial flavors that this is getting hard to eat. Laura Bars in general are just one of my absolute favorites just because they are a classic. I haven't had them in years, but if you guys are fans of how I built this podcast, I love listening to episodes from how I built this just because you really get an understanding of how a lot of companies are built. Most often than not, a lot of them kind of have a very similar trend. But Laura, when she had first started build, uh, building this out, I think it was back in 2000, you know, she was going through a divorce. She had lost her job and was basically baking everything that she had into creating a very wholesome protein or nutrition bar. And it wasn't until 2008 where she sold it off to General Mills and made it into the energy bar company that it is today. So pretty sweet how, you know, a lot of dedication and effort goes into building out a brand and an awesome product. Oh, and as a side note, we've had two plant-based protein bars today, Alani New and Laura Bar. These are both very highly recommended in case you guys are looking for plant-based protein bars. MRE Bar, Adam Thompson, Mac Attacks, Seems like this is your guys' favorite protein bar. I've never tried this, but I've seen these around GNC and a couple other places. Seems like a pretty hefty bar. 260 total calories. I'll tell you what guys, this definitely tastes 100% better than the MREs I tried in that MRE video. They should pack these and give these to the soldiers. Holy smokes. Check that out guys, I'm telling you. Probably some soy crisps in there, along with some sprinkles. Gotta love the sprinkles. Hell yeah! MRE bar, done. I gotta say, this is probably one of my favorite bars that I've had today. Solid, I'd say 9.1 out of 10. No cow, no way. Literally no way, because it's dairy free. 16 grams of fiber. My reaction when they say no way. I don't know how they come up with some of these flavors. It definitely doesn't taste like birthday cake. It's almost like a caramel. Boop. I feel like we did some work today, guys. Last protein bar of the night is the one birthday cake. I feel like ending on a good note with a winner of a protein bar is the way to go. So Charo, two, one, one, one. Charo, this is gonna be the last and final protein bar of the night. If you guys are interested in seeing me continue the alphabet, smash the like. If we get up to 500, I'll do another video. But uh, intestinal warfare is definitely going into World War III right now. I know it looks harmless, but this is one of my absolute favorites. Woo! Back caps off the night. Feeling pretty accomplished. Eating protein bars for a day. Total macros and calories up on the screen now. So if you made it this far into the video, Super stoked to see you here and absolutely love you guys for sticking around. And I'm also stoked that you're there and I'm here because the space is saving the both of us. But with that being said, guys, we're gonna do a Transparent Labs giveaway, creatine or bulk pre-workout. You'll have your pick. We're gonna pick three lucky winners. So head on over to my Instagram, check out this picture here, follow the instructions, and we'll pick three lucky winners and one week's time frame from when this video drops. So stay tuned. But with that, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed today's epic day with some redonkulous protein bars. You know, hopefully you found it informative. Hopefully you found a new protein bar to try out. And if you did, give me a shout. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give this video a big fat thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. But otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.